Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today we're doing block six in the Stash Buster block series and um, today's block is um, called uh, London Stairs and this is a big block. It is 12 inches square, 12 and a half inches unfinished and um, it is made all of rectangles. So this one goes together pretty quick and uh, only uses two colors so uh, this is a good block to uh, get some practice on piecing so i'm going to adjust the camera and show you the fabrics that i'm using and uh, we'll get started okay like i said we only need two colors for this block and we only need one size of rectangles these are two and a half by four and a half and you'll need nine of each color and i'm using a white and i'm going to use this blue and to put these together we're just going to stack one on top of the other right sides together and stitch down one of the long edges so we're going to chain piece this so this will go really quick and then we'll press them open and we'll lay out the block and uh, then we'll sew the units together and then sew the rows together and then we'll have our block completed. Okay, this is a slightly different camera angle than what I've been using, but I wanna see if this will work a little better. Um, so we're just gonna go down one long side and just use our 2.5 stitch and just stitch it right through. Just keeping the raw edges even. And then I'll take the next two and line them up, right sides together, and do the same thing. And we're just going to keep going along. And this is chain piecing, just one piece after the other. And I'm not cutting them apart just yet. I'm using a, a blue for this block. time to cut these apart and to press them and then lay them out. For this project we're going to press them all towards the dark fabric so I'm going to lay the blue side up and just press them press them open. Okay, now we are ready to lay out our block. And I think I said this was block number five. This is actually block number six. Okay, so we're gonna start in the top left corner and we're gonna put the dark fabric up. And then the next one is gonna to go to the left. And the third one is gonna go on top again. So these two blocks face the same direction. And the next row I'm going to turn the dart to the left and then to the top and then to the left again. And then the last row is going to be a repeat of this row. So dark is to the top, then to the left, and then to the top. So what you are seeing is like the stair steps, so the zigzag pattern. So next thing we need to do is to sew these in rows. So I'm going to sew this row together and then this row and then this row. And then we'll sew each row to the next row beneath it. So 
I will adjust the camera and start working on that. Now the one thing that's really nice about this block is you don't have to match any seams. You just have to make sure you get your units um, in the right orientation. So that's why laying it out before you stitch it together is beneficial. And making sure my seam is laying flat underneath there. Now I'm not going to chain piece this part because it would be too easy for me to get things out of order. So we're just going to open that up and then sew the next piece onto it. guide my seam under there so it won't flip on me. Okay, and the row number one is done, the top row. And so it should look like this. And I'm going to lay that back. And then do the second row. Last unit. Okay, row number two is done. Put that back and Finish row number unit press these rows and then we'll sew them together. Okay, now these rows um, are going to want to naturally fold over towards the fabric without the seam in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it do that and um, I'll get these two out of my way. So I'm going to press the seam to set the stitches and then just press it open. And then do the same on this side. And just give it a final press along all the seams just to help it lay flat. And there's row number one and row number two. last side now I use you probably notice I use both hands when I'm pressing so I really am not ambidextrous unless it comes to I can do this with iron and I can do it with um, 
an adding machine and that's about it and I really don't know why that I started doing that but okay I'm gonna switch flip this one back I pressed that one the wrong direction okay now we're going to sew the rows together so I'm going to start again at the top and once again I'm going to nest the seams so I'm going to go ahead and put a pin in there make sure they're in a good spot there and do the same here there we go okay we're going to sew these together now now that I have my seams already um, pinned together I don't have to worry about them so much I just have to worry about the raw edges and then the seams on the other side I want to make sure that this one doesn't flip this way because then we'll have um, well I can always press that down again but I really would like it up towards the dark so I'm just going to try and keep that going that direction chasing my uh, foot pedal on the floor here. seems going right there we go. okay one more row to stitch to this and then we'll be done so we'll just flip this over and match up my seams them in place there's one and here's the other all right threads and then to press and we're all, we're done, all done so here we go let me back up the angle a little bit okay there is our London stairs block now it's all ready to press so once again the fabric's going to want to fold towards the um, boxes the units that don't have the seam so there's two here that don't have a seam down that go in perpendicular so I'm going to press this one up like that it's just a lot less hassle but you can do it the other way if you want you just have to work at it a little bit harder is all and then this one here is going to want to flip this direction so 
it's kind of like when you're dealing with your kids you got to pick your battles it's kind of the same way with quilt blocks and which way the seams want to lie okay there is our London stairs block that finishes out at 12 and a half inches There's a 12 and a half inch ruler, so it fits that. So that's a nice big block. And when you compare that to, um, here is the eight and a half inch blocks. So you see how much extra these are, how much bigger these are than your eight and a half. So you've got four extra inches on the edges. Here's the London Stairs quilt block in the blue and the white and then here it is in the teal and white or the aqua and white and um, I think they're both pretty this is a little softer look and this is more graphic so whatever you like so there is block number five in the stash buster series for 2020 I hope you enjoyed this one this one went together really fast I think and um, I like it that it is it's it's simple there's no points you have to match uh, other than your seam lines your seam lines when you sew the rows together but um, you know that's not like having to match points so I think it's a little bit simpler and um, it's it's a bold block just using the two colors it's it's really it can be a bold block you can make a real striking quilt with that if you wanted so I hope you enjoyed this and if you do I hope you click the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet I hope you will consider clicking that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And until then I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas click on the video links and to keep up with my newest projects click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.